What's going on everybody? It is Alex from Everything for iPod. I'm here with another iPhone 5 video and we're doing a little Geekbench speed comparison test between the iPhone 4S. Oh, whoops. The uh, series going nuts here. Whoops. There we go. The iPhone 4S, the um, new iPad or the third generation iPad, as well as the iPhone 5. So I've Geekbench installed the latest version on all three of these devices. The first thing I'm going to do is just make sure that all of the apps are closed on all of the devices. So there's the iPhone, the iPad, as well as the iPhone 5. If you're wondering, I also have an iPhone 5 unboxing up on my channel. Go check that out and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my future iPhone 5 content. So all of the apps are closed. I'm going to, I can't um, open all of them at the same time because I just can't. I'll try to as best as I can. And that didn't work as planned, but um, basically here you go. I'm going to run the benchmarks and it's not really a test um, where it's gonna matter how fast it's gonna complete. So I'll do them pretty much as fast as I can, as close together, but really we're gonna look at the score and not how fast it completes the test. Um, so I'm just, for a matter of compar comparison, I'll start the two iPhones at the same time and then shortly after start the iPad. And uh, I'll just rotate this too so you can see what's going on. So if you don't know what Geekbench does, basically it runs tests and um, gives your device a score. Uh, there's versions of Geekbench, I believe for Windows, but definitely for Mac as well as iOS um, and I think Android too. Or yeah, definitely Android. So uh, you can check it out. I'm going to post the links to the score so you can see more detailed information down in the description. So the iPhone 5 finished really early with a score of 1,649. The new iPad is well below it at 758 and the iPhone 4S is still going. There we go. A score of 629. So these two devices, the iPhone 4S and the new iPad, have relatively close scores, but the iPhone 5 just kills them, blows them away uh, in terms of scores and where scores go. So uh, I'll put the specs to all these devices down in the description, or I'll just go over them right now. So again, iPhone 4S has an A5 chip and it has uh, half a gig of RAM. The new iPad has a gig of RAM and it has the A5X chip. And the iPhone 5 has an A6 chip and it has a gig of RAM. So obviously the most powerful uh, device here is this iPhone 5. Then after that power comes uh, the new iPad. And then after that the iPhone 4S. And that shows in the scores as well. So the iPhone 5 outperforms, blows away the iPhone 4S as well as the new iPad. Thanks for watching guys, stay tuned for more iPhone 5 content to come in the future. Subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss out on anything, and I will catch you in my next video.